Good morning. It's just after 6 a.m. I'm in the park on my own like a lunatic. And the reason being, I want to get the sunlight in my eyes. Sleep, you know, is so important. There's a saying, the shorter you sleep, the shorter you live. It's so vital for our longevity, for our gains, like when we sleep is when we repair our muscles. And at sunrise, the solar angle, the light hits the photoreceptors, which are towards the bottom of the eye at the back there, the yellow and blue wavelength. It raises cortisol um, acutely. And people think, oh, you know, that's a stress hormone. No, it's actually a hormone of action. It's like, go, 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 like you're up, you're awake, and you're ready for the day. What you don't want to do is to be stressed all the time, have it chronically elevated. That's where, that's where um, it can make you really sick, actually. If you're not getting your seven to eight hours of quality sleep, get up in the morning, get out, get the sunlight in your eyes. And then actually at sunset, if you can get out and get that light in your eyes again, same deal, same light, same angle, set you up for sleep. Tampers down your photoreceptors and then other light, which obviously you minimize your light at night, um, but that won't affect you as bad and you should get more quality sleep. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit. Making a kind of high protein vegan breakfast skillet today. First, we're gonna make some herbs potato bites. So we're gonna cube Cube the old spads up. Those are funny looking cubes. So we're gonna add these into a bowl. And then for the herbs, we're using rosemary powder. So rosemary is shown to cut acrylamides when you're roasting things like potatoes by about 96 odd percent. Is that right, Gemma? Am I remembering that right? Like a really ridiculously high amount. So better for you. Also use a bit of black pepper and this low salt, which is 66% potassium salt. Onto your baking tray and roast in the oven for 40 minutes, flipping halfway. Hello! <laughs> we'll add a little more water to the pan, then we're going with a teaspoon of garlic powder, ground cumin, and smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and a pinch of black pepper. That good old mix. Then we're going to make some scrambled tofu. This new one from Cauldron, quick and tasty. Uh, it's no need to press it, so it's ready to go apparently. So just crumble it in. And give it a good old stir. We'll cook that for a few minutes until all the excess moisture is evaporated. I nearly forgot the tabari. The potatoes are halfway, so now it's time to flip them. And we'll pop them up one end. And we're gonna get some sausages on as well. I don't often use meat replacements, but these are pretty good, really low in fat. There's no coconut oil or anything really nasty in there. Linda McCartney, rosemary and red onion, pretty tasty. I can't wait to smash this down. You know, most mornings I'll either have oats in like porridge form or I'll have a fruit smoothie with berries. It's the same ingredient in either. And it's really, you know, important things like your ground flax, ground chia, all, all the things that you need to get in over the day. And I love it, but just occasionally I want a savoury breakfast. And I think this is, <laughs> this might be my go-to one going forward. So my mouth's watering. Wow. That is ridiculously good. Masses of protein, tons of complex carbs to fuel your day. Give it a try! Did it, did it, did it. It's time for our favourite show, will we? <laughs> Can you tell we're watching Brooklyn Nine Nine? <laughs> right, right, because of In case you're interested, I'm having red grapes and almond butter for dessert. Oh, no, mm. it's
I love me a matcha in the morning. Coffee makes me too anxious. I don't enjoy that. And I find it that it affects my sleep badly. But matcha, have one of these after a couple of hours after I've woken up. You shouldn't have it on waking caffeine. You should delay it at least 90 to 120 minutes. And it doesn't uh, affect you negatively. I'll maybe have another one about midday. Definitely not after 2 p.m. because that also jacks with my sleep. But I find in that way, I get all the benefits, makes me feel good, tons of antioxidants, isn't there? With the matcha, you've also got the L-theanine, which balances the caffeine. It's actually an anxiolytic. So this actually makes me feel energized, but calm, like quite a meditative state almost. And to find I'm that much more productive. Are you more of a coffee or a matcha one? Or perhaps do you prefer not to have caffeine? Comment below, I'm interested. I've got to take my bike to the Menders. Last time I was out on Bessie, <laughs> um, it was peeing down with rain, it was freezing cold, I was soaked through, and that happened, and I had to cycle in slow motion. I was having the worst time. It was worth it though. I got to go to my first parent teacher evening. I yep, I done some dadding. This is quite hard for me to talk about because I feel a lot of shame and guilt around this, but I think any potential dads and their kids out there who hear this story, maybe they'll get in touch with each other. And so I'm gonna say it. If this motorbike don't drown me out. So years ago, well, if you know the channel, I've been very honest about my former steroid use when I was younger. I took a lot of steroids and I was a very angry person. And I was with someone and I'd always made my feelings very clear to people that I never want to have kids. But my partner at the time ended up getting pregnant and this is gonna sound really stupid, I know, <laughs> but I felt like I'd been kind of tricked into it, tricked into like having a kid when I didn't want one. And I was just so angry about it and I just felt like I couldn't be around her because I was that angry, like I was scared, like what? could maybe potentially happen and I think she felt similarly because she kind of just fell off the face of the earth after we chatted about it so I never had anything to do with the child anyway recently the mum got in touch and said that she wanted to meet me and immediately like I really wanted to see her and we met up we got on famously and I've gone from thinking that I never want to have kids in my life to thinking that I want nothing more than to have my daughter in my life. She's so adorable and it's funny. She's like me in a lot of ways. She's really tenacious and confident, but like really kind and caring as well. And so, so funny just love her to pieces i just hope to be a really good influence on her and just to help her have you know the happiest life the whole thing reminds me of the vegan part of my life whereby you know i used to eat more animals than anyone and now through my activism i've got a chance to try and put that right and it you know it feels again like a, a chance to make things better you know i'll never make up for like not being there through the first like 14 years of her life but I can give her just I can just give her tons of unconditional love now and spend the rest of my life just trying to make up for it as much as I can you know I find it quite amazing how people say like oh a leopard never changes their spots speciesist but I'm not the same person I was you know well this was like more like 15 years ago I'm not that person anymore like we, we, we can change who we are from just in a really short space of time like we're several different people it seems like throughout our whole lives we're forever changing and if you're someone who doesn't see their kid or if you're a kid scared of rejection you want to reach out but you're scared of rejection people change
<laughs> you're really close. What you got there? A spoon. What are you making? I am making a chana sag. Right. Sag. Sag. Sag, I think. Ch what does that mean? Chickpeas and spinach, I think. Yeah, chickpeas and spinach. Lovely. Yeah. This That's is our, delicious. our kind of take on it. I, I love an Indian, but uh, well, I always eat the same thing, so this is something a bit different. Yeah. Right, so please. it's got a lot of spinach. So we're starting with 100 grams of spinach. This is frozen. Uh, I'm just going to hydrate it. No. Yeah, is that what I'm saying? Hydrate it. I don't know. Defrost it. Defrost it. Oh, we got it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's that. That's right. One side. We did it with frozen the other day and it was delicious, wasn't it? I wonder if yeah. fresh might be better, but we've not got fresh. So we yeah. Can't Having frozen spinach just really saves on waste. So we have loads of frozen veg these yeah. days. And speaking of that, we've got frozen onion and mushrooms going to go in it. Now these don't normally go in there, I don't think. I don't think, do. but that, that's what we're having. Yeah, we like us some healthy veggies. Yeah. So again, frozen cream chop saves your time. Yeah, so much. This is a really quick recipe to make, actually. The pants here. Hello, Pat. You okay, boy? Hello. I'm not ready for you yet. Go, oh. go away. <laughs> well, charming, isn't it? It's charming, isn't it? <laughs> I need other things from the kitchen. <laughs> no, don't make that sound at me. <laughs> What's that? What's it called cool again? No, don't buffoon me. <laughs> the spice galore, this recipe, I tell you. Spice galore. Yeah. Chippy. It's finally heating up. It's saying something. So what, you steam frying until the onions are translucent, I guess? Yeah. Oh, I did 60 grams, 70 grams of onion and 70 of mushrooms, if you're okay. interested. While that's doing that, I'm going to take some coriander, take off the leaves. A bit of stalk's okay, but you don't want it overly stalky. <laughs> no one likes it overly. <laughs> uh, put just a big handful into a blender. Also in there, it's going to be 150 grams of silken tofu. Silken tofu? That's like wet stuff. Yeah, this one's firm. I didn't know there was such a thing as firm silken tofu yeah. until quite recently. And we made like a, a, a sauce for some other recipe with it and it turned out way better. But for this recipe, you actually need the, you need the, wet. the wetter one. So I'm going to add this and a little bit of water. So 150 grams goes in here. This is a doubly good protein recipe because you've got chickpeas and silken tofu. And I'm going to put 100 mils of water. Drain the spinach, that goes in as well. <laughs> I need the lid. Don't buffoon me, just don't. <laughs> So you want to blend until smooth. <laughs> it's a non-stop buffooning today. Why take, why take one trip when seven or eight will do? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get my steps in or something. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bunch of water. Give it a drink. Yeah, <laughs> give it a drink. And then in with the spices, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Stop saying half a teaspoon to everything. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of turmeric. Half a teaspoon each of the following. <laughs> that got in inside me. <laughs> half, like that, wouldn't you? Half, half a teaspoon of <laughs> garam masala. <laughs> half a teaspoon of. <laughs> it's all herby, I mean spicy. Half a teaspoon of ginger powder. Quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And salt to taste. We use this one, low salt. Mm. Not too much. And then cook it for another two minutes. Chickpeas, in they go. Sauce, in it goes. Vibrant. So you want to bring that to the boil and then simmer for about three minutes. It's almost time to serve. I'm just going to chop up some red chilli to go on top because it will just look nice. I always hold it by the stalk because I don't really like touching them because I feel like it can sting your fingers. Don't let it touch you with its feet. But then it's harder to get skinny rings, so... Yeah. Oh dear. 
And the last ingredient is a little squeeze of lemon juice. And seven pips. <laughs> and no pips. <laughs> <laughs> don't put no pips in. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, get some of these things out of the way then. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think this, that's probably good. This is good. Sometimes you just gotta suck it and see. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is that? What does it say and mean anyway? Well, no, no, it doesn't mean that. But what does, what does it mean? Get a lolly. Will I like it? Well, I don't know. Suck it and see. I don't think. It? Try it. I don't Try think. it out. <laughs> Try it. You might like it. Yeah, <laughs> boy. <laughs> don't put any of this bit in. Serve it up. Get a little, get, go in the kitchen again and get a bowl. <laughs> Why go in one time when it can go in 64,892 times? <laughs> Just finish up with a few black sesame seeds. Did you forget something, madam? Yeah, I forgot to put the yogurt. Oh, God. When I tried this yesterday, it kind of dried out a bit, hadn't it? But I'm interested to try it. Nice and liquidy. Oh God, no. That's even better. Nice, that is so tasty, creamy, fresh, spicy, delicious. Check it out. Nice whack of protein and carbs. So this will fuel me up nicely for the gym. We got waylaid after the gym, a bit of an emergency. Everything's okay now, but we just got back. It's getting late, so we need to eat something. Of course, it's best to make all your food from scratch, but sometimes you're in a rush and you can't manage it. So we have things like this in the pantry. This is an Uncle Ben's tikka masala. This is like chickpeas. It's all right, you know, it's not, it's not optimal, but it, there's nothing really bad in there in high enough doses to be a problem. Um, I've got tofu, which is uh, left over, so that'll add a good whack of extra protein. Pick these up on the way home to make it quick as well. me a little free salad of course I didn't have my ground flax or ground chia this morning because I didn't have my normal oats so that can just go on top of fruit it's fine it don't look the best but it, it tastes absolutely great and then of course first I got this doesn't it look spectacular you know there's no need to not hit your health and fitness goals no matter how little time you have you can make it happen this is something that we talk about in our online coaching we sort of write it into the nutrition plans. We talk about it in our consultations. By the way, if you want to get involved in any of that, uh, link down below, henchherbivore.com. See you in the next video, guys.